Well, the exhibition as a whole is called Tibet's Secret Temple, and the meaning of that is the heart of the exhibition is a set of extraordinary 17th century murals that served as a visual encyclopedia of the path to enlightenment for the Dalai Lamas from the end of the 17th century. A kind of introduction to an extraordinary world of how the human body serves as a vehicle for self-transcendence. These extraordinary set of murals preserve the knowledge of uh, meditation and esoteric forms of yoga, and they were kept secret for centuries. And also during the time of the sixth Dalai Lama, they were also considered secret because they were not always in conformity with the prevailing monastic forms of Buddhism. And so what we've done in this exhibition is try to bring out through facsimiles and reproductions of the murals a kind of introduction to an extraordinary world of how the human body serves as a vehicle for self-transcendence, which is often, as we know, even in the Western tradition, sort of quite opposite from what we think of sometimes as a spiritual path. Religion is often seen as somehow contrary to the worldly life and spirit and flesh, all these kinds of divisions. But in the tantric Buddhist tradition of Tibet, it was really the body that became the vehicle for experiencing the full expanse of the human spirit. When we think of Vajrayana, or Tantric Buddhism in Tibet, they always describe it as having outer, inner, and secret levels of understanding. It's also there implicit within the architecture of the Lukang temple itself. So the murals are representing, you could say, the secret level, uh, the secret understanding of the most esoteric Tibetan Buddhist teachings. But in order to be able to encounter them, in order to be able to experience them, you really have to go through the outer and inner levels first. So essentially the exhibition is using that model by introducing us first, as we are in this room, to the architectural and geographical context of the Lukang being on a lake behind a palace in Tibet, you know, surrounded by mountains. But without really having that understanding, we can't really relate to what these murals are trying to, to show us. And the same way, the rooms as we progress through, as it were, a kind of initiatic journey into the reproductions of the murals are leading us into inner levels of understanding. For example, we have so many uh, misconceptions in the West about what Tantra is. So we have the largest room in the exhibition devoted to Tantric Buddhist art as a way of really bringing a greater understanding of to what really the envisionary development that was reflected in the efflorescence of Tantric Buddhist art, Vajrayana as we call it, the diamond method, a more direct way to enlightenment that was not about asceticism and renouncing the world, but about integrating all experience onto the spiritual path.